Potter Applications Engineer with another great video from Go Engineer. Today I'm going to be designing a 2 to 1 elliptical head using SOLIDWORKS. An elliptical head is all about using the right formulas. So today I'm going to be showing you what those formulas are and how to achieve your elliptical head. First thing we have to do is establish an axis and a tangent line. The tangent line is two inches off the bottom of the part, that's a nominal two inches for all two to one elliptical heads. Then next we have a knuckle radius that is tangent to the radius of the head. The center point of the radius of the head needs to be coincident with the center line so you don't get a little dimple at the top of your head when it's through. When it completes the revolve. Next we need to establish the OD. Everything is run off of the OD as a multiplier. So let's establish our OD. Today I'm going to use 66. Then the next thing we need to establish is the radius of the head. And that is equal to the OD times 0 0.9045 along with the knuckle radius, which is equal to the OD times 0.1727. So as you see here, we have a fully defined sketch with equations for the radius and the knuckle radius and an established OD in a nominal 2 inch straight flange. So I'm going to complete this sketch, create my revolve. It's asking me, would you like this sketch to automatically be closed? That is no, because we want this to be open and not fully closed. So I'm going to hit no, establish my axis, give it a thickness of 5 eighths, complete my revolve. We have a 2 to 1 elliptical head. Thank you for watching this quick tip from Go Engineer.